My name is uh, Bo Kilmer, and I'm the uh, co-director of the Brand Drug Policy Research Center. For those individuals who are participating in these debates, it's really important that they focus on definitions. Definitions matter. Uh, when people usually talk about legalization, they're talking about removing the prohibitions on production, distribution, and possession. And sometimes they also talk about having regulations and taxation. This is very different from decriminalization, which generally focuses on reducing the penalties associated just with possession. You know, for example, taking it from a misdemeanor down to a citation. Uh, these concepts often get conflated in a policy debate, and it leads to a lot of confusion. Well, when you legalize the production of marijuana, you're going to reduce the production costs dramatically. A lot of that is because you're getting rid of the risk. When people purchase marijuana, cocaine, or methamphetamine, a lot of what you're doing is compensating the drug dealer and everyone else along that supply chain for the risk of arrest and risk of incarceration. You realize that goes away with legalization. You'd also expect to have economies of scale, and there would also be technological advances. So if, if there was national legalization and marijuana was farmed like any other commodity, the prices would just plummet. And this has important implications for tax revenues as well as consumption.